Samantha with Sparkle set to release in just a couple of days. We're going to take a look at her kit and what she has to offer and then determine whether or not she is an essential pull for your account or is she someone who is safe to skip. We're going to take a look at uh, the teams she will benefit as well and then also take a look at some characters that may not necessarily care if you have Sparkle or not. So looking at her major traces, she has one for her basic attack, her skill and her talent. Her basic attack allows her to regenerate additional energy. For her skill trace, the critical damage boost provided by the skill will be extended until the target's next turn. And then her talent trace increases all allies attack and additionally increases the attack of quantum type allies based on the amount of quantum type characters in the team. So you can see with this trace here, Sparkle is going to benefit mono quantum teams a little bit more than she's going to benefit non mono quantum teams. For her technique, she will grant all allies misdirect for a certain time. Characters with misdirect will not be detected by enemies and entering the battle in the misdirect state recovers a certain number of skill points for the team. Unsurprisingly, her basic attack is a single target quantum damage. For her talent, while Sparkle is on the battlefield, she'll additionally increase the max number of skill points. Whenever an ally consumes one skill point, all allies damage dealt increases. This effect lasts for a certain number of turns and can stack up to a certain number of times. You can see in the bottom right corner, the skill point bank has increased from five to seven. And so long as you are using a skill every turn, that damage buff is going to be constantly up and it will have multiple stacks to it. For her skill, she'll increase the crit damage of a target ally for a certain number of turns. This also causes the target's action to be advanced forward. When she uses this ability on herself, she will not be able to trigger the action advance effect. So it does have a similar effect to Branya's skill. However, the major difference is, is that her crit damage boost lasts for multiple turns compared to Branya's one turn boost. And her action advance forward is not 100% like it is for Branya. So there is still a give and take. Branya is still going to have a place on certain teams, while Sparkle will benefit other teams over Branya. And then lastly, her ultimate, she recovers a certain number of skill points for the team and grants all allies Cypher. Now, I believe the skill points that she recovers is four skill points uh, for her ultimate. And then allies with Cypher, each stack of damage boost effect provided by Sparkle's talent additionally increases by a certain percentage, lasting for a certain number of turns. So our ultimate's going to provide a major damage boost for your team based on the number of stacks that they've acquired from her talent. So as a Harmony character, she is incredibly solid. She's going to be very beneficial to anybody's account, but we're here to determine whether or not she is a must pull. So we're going to take a look at a couple of team comps. So for starters, Sparkle will be the last key piece for mono quantum teams. If you are at all running a mono quantum team with uh, Zila as your DPS, or maybe even Ching Chui as your DPS, and you have Silver Wolf as your debuffer and Fu Xuan as your sustainer, Sparkle is going to be that missing piece to boost that team's maximum potential. So you're going to want to run either Zila or Ching Chui as they are both very skill heavy. Ching Chui spams her skill a lot to get her enhanced basic. Zila has her resurgence that allows her to spam her skill multiple times. They're going to rack up that damage bonus from Sparkle's talent, and it's going to allow them to hit big numbers. If you run Mono Quantum at all, or you're interested in that play style, this will push Sparkle into a must have category. So now we're going to take a look at some of the characters that will greatly benefit from Sparkle that will push her into a must pull territory. The two prime examples that are going to get a huge buff from Sparkle compared to Branya are going to be Don Hung and Barbara Lunai. Obviously, he is a very skill intensive DPS unit. I believe he is probably I think he's the most skill intensive DPS unit in the game right now. So with Sparkle, Don Hung is going to have an easier time managing his skill points, allowing him to spam his uh, skill point buildup more often and rack up that big damage. Jing Yuan is another character that's going to greatly benefit from Sparkle's kit as her crit damage boost does last multiple turns and the action advance forward is going to allow Jing Yuan to gain more stacks for his Lightning Lord and his Lightning Lord is going to be able to benefit from the crit damage boost from Sparkle's skill 
compared to say Branya, where her single turn crit damage boost may bump Jingyuan up to get that 10 stacks of Lightning Lord, but the Lightning Lord will not uh, benefit from the skill dam the crit damage from Branya's skill since it will go away at the end of Jingyuan's turn. That's not going to be an issue with Sparkle, so he will greatly benefit from having her on your account. It's going to be a great buff for him. So if any of these units up top are your mainstays, if you're running Mono Quantum or if you're main team has Imbiber to Lunai or even Jing Yuan, then Sparkle will go up into a must pull territory. I would highly recommend you pull her for an account using any of these characters on a team. But on the other hand, there are other characters that don't necessarily care about Sparkle or don't benefit from what her kit has to offer. For starters, if you're using Kafka or Black Swan for damage over time, they're not going to be able to make use of Sparkle's entire kit. They can benefit from the increased skill points and they can benefit from the damage boost as well as the action advance, but the crit damage boost from her skill isn't going to benefit them at all as they're not focused on crit damage. Same thing with why you wouldn't necessarily pair them with Branya because they can't make use of that crit damage even though the action advance is better. Someone like Ting Yoon would be a better support for uh, dot compositions or even Asta uh, due to them boosting their attack for those dots. So if you're running dot comps sparkle isn't going to be necessary and the same goes for jing liu and blade while they will benefit from the damage and crit damage the skill point boost that sparkle brings is entirely unnecessary for the two of them as while they don't generate skill points on their own they also don't expend skill points once they're in their enhanced states Branya, for instance is going to be someone who is more beneficial for Jing Liu and Blade due to her 100% action advance and crit damage boost. So in this scenario, Branya is going to have an edge over Sparkle for Jing Liu and Blade. So whether or not you should pull for Sparkle is going to highly depend upon which teams you plan to run and which teams you have built. In our must pull category, it's going to be Mono Quantum, but also Don Hung and Bebeter Lunai, as well as Jing Yuan. They are going to receive the most benefit from sparkle as well so if you plan to use any of these two characters as your hyper carries uh sparkle is going to greatly benefit them as for easy skip if you at all use jing liu or blade teams or a dot composition with kafka and black swan they don't necessarily care about sparkle as they cannot make full use of her entire kit and what she brings to the table and then as for all the other DPSs in the game, she's going to be good to have. She's going to provide enough benefits that they can make use of, but I would not put them on the same essential scale as either Mono Quantum or Don Hung and Bobby Lunai. So she will be an improvement on these teams, but it's not going to be detrimental to their performance. So let me know down below what you think of Sparkle and what her kit brings to the table. Do you think she's a must have or an easy skip? Are you going to pull for her or are you going to save for somebody else coming down the line maybe Acheron or Aventurine for me personally all my characters are down on this bottom tier here I do run Kafka and Jing Liu as my primary team so I don't plan on pulling for Sparkle myself I am going to not not that I could if I wanted to since I am tapped out from Black Swan uh, but I'm I'm personally going to save for a later character down the line anyways don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel and as always i want to thank you all for watching